was achieved through sacrifices across many theatres by many countries. India made a significant contribution with 2.3 million of its citizens under arms and 14 million more participating in war production. Indian blood was shed at the battlefields of the world from Tobruk, El Alamein and Monte Cassino to Singapore, Kohima and Borneo. We helped keep some key supply chains open to both your countries, one through the Persian corridor and the other across the Himalayan hump. If Indian personnel were conferred the Order of the Red Star, the medical mission led by Dr. Kotnis was a legend in China. So tomorrow, when our military contingent marches through the Red Square, it would be an affirmation of the difference that we made. When victors met to fashion the ensuing global order, the political circumstances of that era did not give India due recognition. This historical injustice has stood uncorrected over the last 75 years, even as the world has changed. Therefore, on this momentous occasion, it is important for the world to realize both the contribution that India made and the need to rectify the past. But beyond history, international affairs must also come to terms with contemporary reality. The United Nations began with 50 members. Today, it has 193. Surely, its decision, decision making cannot continue to be in denial of this fact. We, the RIC countries, have been active participants in shaping the global agenda. It is India's hope that we will also now converge on the value of reformed multilateralism. Excellencies, this special meeting reiterates our belief in the time-tested principles of international relations. But the challenge today is not just one of concepts and norms, but equally of their practice. The leading voices of the world must be exemplars in every way. Respecting international law, recognizing the legitimate interests of partners, supporting multilateralism, and promoting common good are the only way to build a durable world order. I thank Russia for convening this meeting, and I look forward to our further discussions. Well, External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jay Shankar, during uh, now just the beginning of uh, this meeting, while he's made that address and has said that the world must realize India's uh, contribution and recognize and also what happened uh, during uh, the World War II victory, where India contributed with about uh, 2.3 million of its soldiers and Indian bloodshed in the battle is something that is noteworthy. And also India hopes to converge on multilateral UN reforms. Uh, he also thanked Russia for convening uh, this meeting. Now, 